It's almost time for action here in Oklahoma City. And as the Thunder arrived earlier on, they appeared to be in no mood to show any mercy tonight. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Let's see some of the numbers here for Luka Doncic. And he's gone dry over the past 10 games, guys. His scoring is way down, and he can't seem to fight his way out of the slump. He better get it going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. Now, we'll look at Dallas' starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Derek Jones is out there with Washington. And it's Gafford in at the five. And for the Thunder, the post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Dort in at the three spot. Coming into the final game of the season, Greg, both of these teams appear ready for the next step. And it's still important to end the season strong, even if you're out of the playoff picture. And if you're in the playoffs, you, you try to build some momentum tonight. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on Doncic. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. It's very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. Last game for the Mavericks, it was a loss to the Pistons. And Doncic hits it to go. And it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. Giddy the pass to Gilgis Alexander. It's rebounded by Doncic. Irving looking for an opening. This one for three. And that's good. Luka Doncic for three. Doncic has got five now. Fearless. As always, Doncic loves to fill it up from deep. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. And the foul on Daniel Gafford. That's his first foul. First team foul. Holmgren the pass to Dort. Here's Giddy. Oklahoma City moving it around. Five to shoot. Eight feet away. Williams gets the bucket. Yeah, there's no quit in this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Doris, when we look at the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like a team that has shown they want to win now. Kevin, I think their ownership has never been afraid to pull the trigger on a big trade. The Mavs are not about just making it to the playoffs. This is an organization that seeks the ultimate prize, and that is to win an NBA championship. Gilgis Alexander, good. This guy is an absolute scorer from anywhere on the floor. Shea Gilgis Alexander doing work in the mid-range. Outside Irving. Gafford sets the pick for Irving. Offline with his three. The Thunder have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Giddy kicks to Williams. And that comes off the assist by Giddy. Five points in the game. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. Donchich outside. Back to Irving. Offered a screen on Giddy. Here's Irving. And the rejection by Holmgren. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Holmgren, one of the best young shot blockers in the league. Now here's Giddy. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. And I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfect. Here's Doncic. After the made shot from Chet Holmgren. Gafford sets the pick for Irving. Looking to end the run. It's good from long range. Yeah, that's just a master of understanding pick and roll and how to develop a quality shot. Such a dangerous guy in those sets. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. 
Offensively, he's been a one-man wrecking crew. His scoring average is over 30 points a game. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. And the first one at the line is good. And, B.B., as we look ahead here, the Thunder seem to be well-positioned for sustained success. They certainly do, Kevin. And the reason you say that is because Oklahoma City has not only amassed a tremendous amount of young talent, their culture is in place, and they have a history of developing young talent. Now it's about building consistent habits and making sure that translates to winning. Now, here is Irving. One of the most consistent producers in the league. He's averaging around 25 and a half points a game. And part of the show tonight, Doris, Kyrie Irving's phenomenal handle. Hey, Kevin, if you ask any NBA player who their favorite to watch is, many will come up with the name Kyrie Irving. It's the ability to have that elite handle, the footwork, the creativity, the ability to shoot a jumper, the pull-up, the lay-in. This guy is absolutely amazing. That one falls, so he hits both of them. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Here's the floater. Holmgren gets the bucket. And looking to get stronger, Holmgren fights through the bump. Tons of time for him to grow into that frame. Irving passes to Doncic. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Now we get a chance to check out Chet Holden. He's really stood out for them over the past month. And don't forget, top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top 10 shot blocker. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He has six. Williams passes to Giddy, and there's the goal on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Dort against Jones. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. And he makes the first. When you look at Josh Giddey's overall skill set and combine that with the 6'8 size and the point guard mindset that he has, he is special. The playmaking, the willingness to score it in tough spots. This guy has got a bright future. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardaway is checked in. Credit where credit is due. P.J. Washington is one hardworking guy on the floor. Isn't he, Greg? He's got that grittiness to him, Kevin. Values every chance he gets to affect the game. And like you said, he puts a ton of effort into his play. Williams. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. And it's seven points for Williams. Here's Hardaway. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Doncic kicks to Jones. Just five to shoot. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. And another basket for Dallas. Well, in today's NBA, you've got to be able to play in pick and roll. And Hardaway doing work right there. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. Guarded by Doncic. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Williams for three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. 
Yeah, I mean, they battled, but, but at some point, the game got completely away from them, and they just could not get back on track. We know they're capable of a much better game than they played. They know it. We know it. Let's see if it affects their confidence. Wallace has checked in for the Thunder. Now here's Jones. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. On the wing, Doncic. Back to Hardaway. Over Giddy. And there's Hardaway. That's good on the assist by Doncic. Hardaway has got his second bucket. There has to be a certain amount of focus if you're going to be a great scorer. And Hardaway Jr. showing right there. He's locked in. Holmgren with a screen on Jones. Here's Dort. And again, it's Oklahoma City. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Now, here's Doncic. Eight points for him. Get it out of here. Holgren too much defensively. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Giddy the pass to Holmgren. Holmgren sets the screen for Dort. Holmgren can't hit. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. That puts them in the lead. Jones has got five now. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Now here's Williams. A 17-point game for him in the win against Milwaukee. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. Here's Dort. Wallace misses. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Doncic kicks to Jones. Down low. And the rejection by Holmgren. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Josh Green's checked in for Dallas. One ten left in the first quarter of the game. Lock at six. Doncic kicks to Green. Shoots the three. Lively. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Dallas foul. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Dallas. Yeah, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. And their assist total, also impressive early, creating with the pass and playing for teammates. First one falls for Higgins is checked in for the Thunder. Gilgis Alexander comes in for Wallace. The Mavericks also with a sub. Kleba's checked in. So he gets them both. The Mavericks leading. Hardaway with it. His last outing, he had eight points. And that's a foul called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Wallace is checked in. Wallace. On the wing, Doncic. Kleba against Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. Out to Doncic. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. And Doncic gets it to go. Doncic has got ten points in the game. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Four-point game. Shot and game clock separated by five. 
It's good. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. And that one, good. 12 points for him. Now look at Doncic, relishes the opportunity to control the action. And right now he is cooking the defense. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. The Mavericks on top. Ending the first quarter on a 14-6 run. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. you've enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and what do you think guys about Dallas here in this one just stretching out the floor that first uh, they had the defense scrambling and that was obviously the plan coming in now the big question can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along and Greg when they talk about youth development the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work when, when did that change it, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years, but it's amazing how the game has evolved. We've got Wallace. Wiggins is out there with Hayward. Then it's Williams. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the one. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Now the Mavericks all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks Arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, DA, thank you. Doncic has checked in for the Mavericks. Dallas leading by five. And we play through the first uh, minute here in the second. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. That free throw, no good. What you love about Luka Doncic is he's this unique combination of size and skill. He could really play cross-positionally. He makes shots at all three levels so dangerous. That one is no good. And really, as solid as he's been at the line, I had already chalked those points up. Goes to show you, though, don't take anything for granted. When you have an effective handle, it's easy to make the defense pay. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Great communication on the alley-oop. Oh, my goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Hayward looking over the floor. Williams, a screen on green. Hayward passes to Williams. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Williams has got five. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. Kleba sets the screen for Doncic. Doncic knocks in the three. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here now, the league's highest scoring teams the past 10 games. What a stretch it has been for these guys. The Thunder in fourth. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring, and they are putting up some big numbers. Thunder trailing by six. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. 
Guarded by Doncic. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. And yes, it's good. He's got eight. That's a big time move right there. So crafty, so tough. SGA, big time skill. Doncic outside. Fires the three. Another three for Dallas. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Gilgis Alexander with it. Hardaway picks him up. A shot by Hayward. Wide open. Drills the three-pointer. Hayward's got five points in the quarter. Well, Gordon Hayward answering back with a big-time three of his own. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Impressive work inside from Doncic. Boy, he's been unconscious this quarter. I love the confidence he's playing with. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They trail by six. Over Green. Again, Oklahoma City. And he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Hard away against Wallace. Now here is Hardaway. Defense is right there. Sinks the triple. Doncic has got 23 points. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 23 points for him the last game against Milwaukee. The other thing, he really changed the pace of the game when you consider how many free throws he shot. Drawing fouls is an art, and really he has mastered that part of the game. Here's Doncic after the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Hayward outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Ball is with a screen on Doncic. It's rebounded by Dallas. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Thunder trailing by seven. Wiggins, that's a screen for Gilgis Alexander. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Here's Doncic. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. And this has been a comedy of errors. I mean, you can just add another one to the list. And the Thunder with some changes. Holmgren comes in for Williams. And Josh Giddey's subbed in for Wallace. The Mavericks also with a sub. Washington's checked in. And stolen by Giddy. Three on three. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Well, you have got to be impressed with Josh Giddy's awareness of where his teammates are at all times. Mavericks leading by seven. Hardaway passes to Doncic. From past the arc, trains it from beyond the arc. Doncic has got 30 points. And he is having an unbelievable game from three-point range. How long can he keep this up? Giddy against Hardaway. Knocked away. Goes up on the wing. Again, the Thunder score. Here's Doncic. 30 points in the game. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Doncic has got the lead up to 10 now for Dallas. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. And there it is for him. Well, it was the Oklahoma City Thunder winning their last game against Milwaukee. Dallas calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. 
Here's Doncic after the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Well, the playmaking skills of Luka Doncic are truly extraordinary. So young, so good. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right, GA. Seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. Shots good by Gafford. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Luka Doncic. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander has become the master at drawing fouls. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander has become a walking bucket, folks. This is now an elite NBA score. Dante Exum, he's checked in for Hardaway. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in line so far here in the second quarter. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander after Luka Doncic's miss. Stolen by Exum. Here's Doncic. Good D by Gilgis Alexander. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. Eight-point game. Last time they met was right here, and they came out with a win. And they got the better of this matchup last time with their defensive pressure and the ability to force turnover. Yeah, I thought the giveaways were a tremendous factor. They were taking some chances on D, jumping in the passing lanes, that sort of thing, and it really paid off for them. Now, Doncic, after Lou Dort's three-pointer that didn't go, releases, and Doncic gets it to go. Doncic has got 34 points. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Doncic with the steal. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And now it's a 12-point Maverick lead. Well, Doncic's terrific floor vision in the open floor. He also understands how to be the guy to finish. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Luka Doncic. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. For your home city, Shane Gilgis Alexander. Two shots. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Both shots good from the strike. Dallas leading by 10. Now Doncic, he's got 36. 17 seconds left to play here in the half. Dort against Jones. Dort kicks to Holmgren. And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. Connects from three point range. Gilgis Alexander's got 23. That shot, no good. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Dallas Mavericks. He's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, PJ. Hot start offensively. How do you continue that in the second half? I think we did a great job of attacking the rim and kicking out to our teammates and making open shots. So uh, we got back away from that in the second quarter, but we got to do a better job of that coming out of halftime. Stick with what works, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway.
Hello and welcome, basketball fans. The first half coming to an end with a deficit for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Their defense is the opposite of disruptive. Listen, in the NBA, everyone's so good. You can't completely shut a team down, but at least make them work for it. I expect that's what they are discussing at this very moment. And now, as the regular season marches on, here's how things look in the West as we near the final stretch. Taking a look here at the Thunder, with the playoffs right around the corner, they're in tremendous shape. They're right on top in the first half. You mean they're ruling the roof? <laughs> they're taking shots for every team every night, and they're still landing on top. <laughs> What's ruling the roof? Never heard that before. <laughs> And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with this mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. On the court for the Mavericks. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Daniel Gafford is out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Jones in at the small four. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body and angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. Here's Irving. After the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander, he gets it in there. Irving's got 14 points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Giddy against Irving. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Dallas gets called for the foul. So there's that combination of size and quickness when we're talking about Josh Giddy. Hard to defend, makes the defender commit right there. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Giddy against Irving. Gafford sets the pick for Irving. Again, the Mavericks score. Wow, what a start. Three for three, terrific play calling, everything clicking out of the gates here. Pass to Holmgren. Outside, Dort. Holmgren with a screen on Jones. And the rejection by Gafford. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. Here's Doncic. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Under trailing by nine. Gilgis Alexander finds Dort. At the top of the key, Holmgren. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at five. Holmgren with a screen on Irving. Shoots from 12. Holmgren can't hit. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 36. 
beyond the arc. The shot missing. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. They trail by nine points. A second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got four this quarter. Well, you love that SGA putting that athleticism to work. Go hit the glass. And the Mavericks call time here. And while we have a chance, how about the numbers for Williams? He's averaging 19 points per game, four assists, and four rebounds. And, and it's nice to be able to bring someone with his defensive skill set off the bench. I think, in fact, to win a championship, you usually need a guy like this on your roster. Now, here's Doncic. He's just been too hard to handle at the offensive end. His scoring average is just under 34 points a game. On the wing, Doncic. Gilgis Alexander covering. The fader. Dallas again missing. Under trailing by seven. Here's Giddy. Good on the shot. Giddy's got eight points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Irving. He's got 16. Washington sets the pick for Irving. Out left of the wing. And it's Washington missing. Thunder have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Giddy the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Giddy against Irving. And here is Giddy. Eight points for him. And he uses the glass on the layup. And now just a three-point Dallas lead. Now Josh Giddy has the size to absorb contact, doesn't let it phase him, just powers through the shot. Here's Doncic. No good that time. Oklahoma City's gone four or six from outside the arc tonight. Irving against Gilgis Alexander. And good that time. Gilgis Alexander's got 29 in the game. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 36. They need this one. Good on the three-point shot. Doncic has got 39. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Gilgis Alexander's got eight here in the quarter. Well, let's remember that at six foot six, Shea Gilgis Alexander can more than handle himself near the cup. He lobs it up, and Gafford throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. And usually one of the league leaders in field goal percentage, Doris, Daniel Gafford. What a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves, and that's exactly what Gafford gives you, an understanding of what his team needs. Rim running, rim protection, and rebounding. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Hayward's checked in. Josh Green's checked in for the Mavericks. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Kyrie Irving. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren in the post. Covered by Gaffer. And there's Holmgren. That's good. On the assist from Gilgis Alexander. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Now, here's Doncic. Defense right on him. For the screen on Gilgis Alexander. Doncic finds Gafford. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Holmgren. Listen, we all know Luka Doncic can score, but equally impressive to me is his playmaking ability. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Dallas? Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. 
now. Here's Giddy. He's got 10. Hayward outside. Here's Williams. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. Mavericks leading by five. Hardaway goes in. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. The Thunder have gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. From 12 feet out, Williams gets the bucket. Williams has got 12 in the game. Okay, Gordon Hayward, we know you're an all-star level talent as a scorer. Now you're just showing off with that pass. Here's Hardaway. Chalk up two there. Six points for him. 144 left here in the third quarter. To the inside. Doncic with the steal. Doncic steps on the gas. Gafford misses. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. The pass to Giddy. Outside Williams. To Giddy. Clock is at three. Out to Wallace. There's the triple. And the rejection by Gaffer. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And the Thunder making a change here. Joe's checked in. We've got 108 left to play in the third. The three for Doncic. Bangs home the trifecta. Doncic has got 42 in the game. Well, they're just riding the hot hand down the stretch, and he's been in a zone all night. Out to Hayward. Inside. Outside, Williams. It's stolen by Green. And now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. Hardaway for three. Another three for Dallas. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. The first one falls. Wiggins is jacked in for Williams. He's perfect from the line this time. Dallas leading by nine. Now here's Doncic, and he has 42. Outside, Green. Pass to Lively. Here's Kleba. Another three for Dallas. Well, more and more, you see big men working on the outside shot. And this guy has one of the better ones in the league. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They have been sharp from beyond the arc, putting on a terrific three-point shooting display. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Gilgis Alexander out there with Wallace. 
And there's Bismack Biombo. Then it's Wiggins. And it's Hayward in at the three slot. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Biombo. And then Biombo with the dunk. This guy's so good at rolling with purpose after setting the screen. That's what you want from Bismack Biombo. Here's Hardaway, and Dallas again with the bucket. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. Kenrich Williams, he's checked in for the Thunder. On defense, Dallas, the 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. To the paint, here's Hayward. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. We know this about Gordon Hayward. He can score from three, he can get to the mid-range, and he can score if you allow him that kind of interior position. Doncic kicks to Irving. For three... Another three for Dallas. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Hayward. Count the basket. Well, remember the comfort zone that Gordon Hayward possesses when he's in the mid-range. There's an ease and a confidence about what he does. And Dunchett throws it down. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. Well, you love that he wants to wear out the defense. What a catalyst for his team. Incredible. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. And that one's good, Irving. What a masterful performance from Kyrie Irving. He's over a decade into his career. He can still take over a game. Wallace with a screen for Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. The shot, no good. Nice D from Doncic. Mavericks leading by 15. To the middle. Washington finds Irving. Out to Hardaway. Misses the three. Thunder have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Williams and a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Dallas calls timeout. And the Thunder making a switch here. Giddy's checked in. Jones checked in for the Mavericks. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Giddy the pass to Hayward. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Gilgis Alexander against Irving. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And with the new CBA, Greg, free agent conversations can start basically the day the NBA Finals conclude. Do you like that move? I, I think it's good to have rules that teams will actually follow. In the past, it was July 1st, and let's be honest, teams were talking to players well before that. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Dallas leading by 10. Irving a screen on Giddy. Pass to Washington. On the wing, Irving. It's good from about 19 feet. And it's now 23 points for Kyrie Irving. That is pure from Kyrie. Fantastic working off the catch. Passes to Wiggins. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's got 36. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. 
There's the path to Washington. Hardaway against Giddy. Hardaway kicks to Irving. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Irving's got 17 points here in the second half. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Irving. And it's Gilgis Alexander missing. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Outside Hardaway. For the three, another three for Dallas. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And Giddy gets it to go. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Outside, Jones. Back to Hardaway. The kick out to Irving. Another three for Dallas. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Time called here. The Thunder decides to talk it over. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic. And his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. And with their spot in the postseason assured, he's picking up just at the right time to be on top of his game. Under trailing by 17. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren at the elbow. Shoots over Gafford. And there's Holmgren. That's good. On the assist from Gilgis Alexander. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed oh, such a knack for getting to the free throw line. Luka Doncic, two shots. First free throw is good. All free throws good from Doncic. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten exactly two thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth, eight of 12. Williams gets the bucket. Just doing what he can. He's competing and he's converting. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. They retain possession. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Under trailing by 15. Dort finds Giddy. And here is Gildas Alexander. That's good. And so Giddy with the assist. Giddy's got six assists now in the game. Dallas has gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. They set the pick. Irving for three. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Again, Oklahoma City. We all know that SGA is very capable of averaging 30 for a season. Tonight's exploit should come as no surprise. Now, here's Doncic. Floats one up. Oh, Doncic in traffic. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. And again, it's Oklahoma City. And playing up tempo, pro-level ball can be hard for some guys, but Holmgren has easily made the transition. Now, here's Doncic. 
On its way from Irving for two. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Gilgis Alexander. Boy, delicate touch on that floater by Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's pretty. Now, here's Doncic. Wants to get it to Gafford and does. An emphatic LU jam. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. And that one's good, Gilgis Alexander. Uh, Gilgis Alexander becoming more and more reliable as a jump shooter. With everything else in his game, look out. Now, here's Doncic. And they double up Doncic. The shot by Kleba, wide open. Another three for Dallas. Three and, and these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for Dallas. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. Yeah, and once they started sinking shots, they really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And anytime they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And the strong effort here will convert into what will be their 50th win on the season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Luka Doncic. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Hardaway dishes to Doncic. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And they double up Doncic. Hardaway against Giddy. And Hardaway gets it to go. Well, I like the battle right there by Hardaway Jr., showing he's committed to scoring on the defense. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Ah, uh, man, well, the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. And that about does it for the final game of the NBA regular season. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic.